So I'm about to do my heavy set and what I see happen a lot often with squats is that the opposite is what's the opposite of what I'm looking for to happen is happening. Um, as you increase the weight, you decrease the depth, all right? And that's a pretty common phenomenon around here. Um, it really should be the opposite way around. As we increase the weight, we should be increasing the depth. And I think your biggest issue is failure to, um, well, a, a fear of failure, all right? And, and you never put these horses in play and you're afraid to get deep, all right? I'm gonna show you how it's done. I'm gonna show you how you have to commit to the drop, all right? Now, my thing here is when I load this on my back, I don't care if I don't, if I, if I fail, if I don't get it up, I don't give a fuck, all right? What I care about is that I'm gonna commit to the depth, all right? I know I'm getting down low, I'm gonna almost hit this thing with the top, with the bar, all right? And I'm not afraid because if I gotta dump it, I'll just dump it. But I have to commit to the depth, and I think you guys often, when you're getting real heavy with the, with the weight, you're afraid you're gonna fail because you don't have the option to dump this on the sawhorses. Um, and if you're getting the depth, I've always said it, I've said it a million times, if you're getting the depth on the first few sets, there's no reason why you should stop getting the depth when the weight gets heavy. We're just, we're not accomplishing much. We could, we could throw around some serious weight, but we're not accomplishing a true, honest squat weight if you're not, if you're getting half the depth or even if you're getting three-fourths of the depth. It's still not the same exercise. You have to commit, and these sawhorses are the only way to do it. You can put the equalizers in play too, um, and those will do the trick. You just got to make sure you're dead over the center with the bar or over the equalizer. I'm going to go for two reps. On my third one, I'm going to fail it and flunk it on purpose just so you see um, what happens. All right. So, uh, but watch the commitment. Watch the depth. Not afraid to fail. Ready? Now I'm tired. I know I'm going to fail on this one. But I'm not afraid. Alright? Because I dumped the weight and I got out of there. It's alive. Alright? So. I'm telling you, you have to use the sawhorses if you're at a certain weight. It's the only way to do it. You have to stop shortchanging your depth. You're only kidding yourself if you think you're throwing around weight that you say you're throwing around, but you're missing it by, even if you're missing it by this much, it's still not the same exercise. All right? We've got to make it happen. <sighs> 